Yo, just wanted to make a guide on mouse movement, specifically on Ranger, but this can also apply to other classes. Uh, but I'll try to make this as quick as possible, so I'll include timestamps below this video so you can go through a specific skill or input that you want to see, and yeah, let's get started. So pretty much in this video, I'll be breaking it down into three sections. Um, I'll be showing you the mechanics of movement through mouse moving, tab swapping, and camera locking. Alright, so um, I'll start off with mouse move first. Very elusive input, you can be very crafty with it, you can, you can trick people, <laughs> you can break ankles. Practically, you can mouse move almost all ranger skills, except for the recent ones, like, like this one. But here I'll show you the most, you know, the most used skill to mouse move. So uh, let's go right ahead at the very beginning by actually using the control function. So here, if you press control, you should, you should see your cursor. And now, if you can't like move like I'm doing here, you're clicking everywhere, you can't move. It's because you don't have the mouse move setting on. So you want to do is go to settings, general settings, or well, no, interface settings, mouse interface. Click this bad boy right here and apply. Now we're moving. God damn. All right. So uh, I'll start off with our iframe dash right here. So one step. Um, pretty much what you want to do is cue the skill. So press R and B, and then open up the control function, the mouse move. What you want to do after that is quickly left click and then close it. So you would dash, control, left click, and then close. So all in all, it should look something like this. There we go. As easy as that. Now, um, if that's still hard to do or confusing to replicate using the mouse move key, Instead of using your pinky finger, like this, you would want to mouse move with um, the bottom of your pinky right here, like around here, depending on how big or small your hand is. So let me demonstrate. So right here is my control key. Instead of doing this, because it can be quite hard to do sometimes to mouse move with your pinky finger, what you want to do is do this instead. It'll be more comfortable and more consistent that way and after that you should just be getting into a habit of just doing like doing this and yeah pretty much that's it so, um, our next skill is a uh, breezy blade and brushing wind so this one the difference is just you have to prolong your control and left click like that so if you treat this like wind step you're just pretty much gonna go back in the same place where you originated from like this uh, alternatively if you have this on hotbar breezy blade where it locks hotbar it's the same concept pretty much you would on my uh, instance, I have it on two, so I would press two first, and then control left click. So like that. All right. So the next step is a uh, call from sky. Let's go right here. So what you want to do is just walk forward lightly, like gently tap your left click. If you hold it for too long, it'll do this animation. So what I'm gonna do is just tap it. Then there you go. Similar to Ble Breezy Blade, where you just prolong it. Control function. Although this one's a bit more complicated since you have to press spacebar. All of this. And the next phase of that is uh, air explosion. This one. This one I mass move quite a bit, just because it you can cover a lot of distance. Evasive Explosion Shot. This skill you can mouse move, and pretty much what you want to do is 
you would want to be in the same location. You want to hop back in the same location where you started. So, like this. So the key here is just looking at your character and as soon as you land, you would close the control function. Just like that. This one is my favorite skill to mass move. It's the fastest range of skill and you can catch so many enemies off guard if they try to create distance. Um, it's called evasive landing shot. It's a fairly new skill. And so, as an example, uh, let's just pretend this is your enemy right here. You can close the gap by mass, move, mass moving the skill and just catching up to them like this. To do a uh, mouse move evasive landing shot, you would have to input either twisting wind or riding the wind. Either of those ones. So you will have to hold shift while you're still in the animation. And it's just a matter of timing of pressing control and left click at the same time. So in this instance, I will just use twisting wind. Like that. Uh, think of it as like breezy blade where you have to prolong your control and right click inputs. So, you, it's not like um, your wind step where you, you have to do everything fast. This one, you kind of have to linger it. This one's a bit more interesting, Winds of Prairie. It's a fairly new skill that came with the rework, and you would mouse move this a bit more different compared to the others. Uh, in a way that you would input your control function first, and then your hotbar. There's two ways to actually do this, but I'll start off with the method I do. Alright, uh, one method you can use to mouse move Winds of Prairie is first you would bring out your control function key. Like this. And then you would left click. And then press your hotbar Winds of Prairie. So in this instance it's 5. So, when you put all of them together, it looks like this. So the second method is very useful if you have your breezy blade locked and hot barred. Because if you do this, um, say for example if you dash and you don't have it locked, you might uh, breezy blade might interfere with your skill, like this. So if you have this off, it'll be, you might find this more beneficial for you. So how to do it? You would control, left click and right click. See how my right click is stopping me from moving? So, for example, if you want to dash, you would look behind. Just be careful if you if you left click first, you'll do this animation, which you don't want. So you, you'd have to control first. Like that. So, but as soon as you're in this uh, state, you can hotbar or shift space. So when you put all those skills together, it'll look like this. Also, a uh, shout out to Wally from the Ranger Discord for this finding. Alright, so this one is called tab swapping. And then this one involves of you sheeting your weapon and then quickly doing a skill input. So what this allows you to do is uh, cancel animations once you tab and then you would be in a walking or running state. Uh, so um, keep in mind, for this skill to work, you must have a certain skill hotbar. So let's start off with uh, Waltz of Wind. Have a hotbar somewhere, and then it won't work once you finish tab swapping because you'll be in a non-combat stance like this. So if you want to tab swap Winds of Prairie, you'll be in a walking animation or running animation. You can make tab swapping be seamless with unprotected gaps with the right timing. It's harder than mass move in a way that it requires more precise timing and execution to do it. Camera locking. So the third type of movement is called camera locking. Very ancient, very old abandoned type of movement. In a way it's obsolete because you can blast and gust forwards now just by holding W. Back in the days, we didn't have the option. We would camera lock Blasting Gust to go forwards or backwards. But all of that aside, I still believe it carries potential used in a doubling scenario. 
and I'll demonstrate why. Alright, so how to camera lock. By default, it should be your middle mouse button. So if you can't see your character do this, see how my character is snapping back to that original place. Um, go to settings. Go to interface settings again. Miscellaneous hotkeys and change this one. Moving, change camera perspective to MMB, middle mouse button. And yeah, so depending on the scenario, you would look into the direction where you want to face. So for example, if we want to auto attack going forward, you would look 90 degrees and then go back to the same position where you want to chase the enemy and then do an auto attack in front. You can do also do it going backwards or forwards. Just a quick note, um, if you find it awkward to do uh, camera locking by the middle mouse button, going like this, what you can do is uh, go to back to settings, go back to interface settings, miscellaneous hotkeys, and you can change it to uh, any keys you want. So it's just matter of preference. Some people have it on middle mouse. I have it on my uh, my mouse function number two, just right here. So I will change it to that. But all in all, it's just preference. You're doing the same input anyways. Just a quick tip. Uh, by auto attacking, you can take advantage of people with no effects on in a way that you can mask blasting gust without it being in cooldown. So the enemy might think you're spamming Blasting Gust, but really, it's just your auto attack. And then if they get careless, you can throw the actual skill and hope to knock him down. Uh, camera locking S block. Now, versing specific classes, like Sork or Hash, this skill makes you protected by being unprotected in a way. It's very weird, and I think it's better to show it on a video, so I'll go ahead and do that and roll a clip. Okay, so in this example right here, I'm doing a camera locked S block against a hash. They can't see me through air assault since I have an S block behind me. And like, look at this guy. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> like, so in a way, it will throw off your opponent and they might do things that they shouldn't do and you can punish and capitalize on that. So once you get comfortable doing these movements, quite complex, but it makes you more dynamic. You can be very crafty and incorporate all three mechanics into a combo. And um, an example, okay, so uh, picture this, picture you're grinding, minding your own business and some bozo says, duel for spot, you know, like, and then you clip them with all three movements. Like, guaranteed you, they won't, <laughs> they won't even say GF, like, if I get styled like that, I'd, I'd just respawn, go change channel, and look for another spot. Like, not only you won the duel, but you also won the mental game. What you can do to practice all these three movements is try to go from the starting line here in B8 and at the end, the very far back right there. So just keep practicing this and over time, it'll just become second nature by getting into the habit of pressing control function and getting into the flow of when to use the tab key and your middle mouse button or wherever you, you put your camera lock. And if you have any questions or some things that I didn't cover, comment below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I hope that was helpful and have fun, enjoy learning these mechanics. Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, wherever you are in the part of the world, and have a great new year. Alright, that's about it. See ya!